Hey everyone, welcome to Cara's Cucina. I'm Cara DeFalco and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite recipes. I am going to be sharing with you my grandmother's cream puffs. Great food isn't just about good ingredients and knowing how to cook, it's about telling the story of the food. We're going to start off by making the custard filling for the puffs because that has to cool in the fridge for a while before we're able to use it. I have three cups of whole milk in a bowl and again I'm using whole milk because this is a pastry because it's dessert. If you want to use a lesser fat milk certainly you can do that. Whole milk is also a bit less processed than regular milk. And we're also going to add to that three egg yolks, just the yolks separated and get that mixed together. And I will admit to you guys, the filling portion is not exactly my grandmother's recipe. Um, she used to use an instant vanilla pudding and certainly you could use um, a version like that as well. I just wanted to make something that had some more whole ingredients in it um, and just show you guys a bit of a better way to make this. So we want to get make sure those yolks are broken up and well mixed into our milk. I have a deep saute pan over medium heat and to this we're actually going to add in a half cup of sugar, a third a cup of cornstarch, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then we're just going to add in a little bit of our egg and milk mixture, just enough that this is going to start to make a paste and begin to cook. Get this mixed. So just a couple tablespoons at first. Our mixture is starting to brown a little bit. It's nice and smooth. So at this point, we're going to slowly add in the rest of our egg and milk mixture. And I have this over medium low heat. And we're just going to let this cook slowly and continue to stir it so it doesn't form any clumps or any film. And over the course of about 20 to 25 minutes, this is going to thicken up. We're going to start to see some bubbles form in the middle, and that's when we know that it is cooked through. As you can see, our mixture has thickened up, and if I leave it alone for just a little bit, we start to get those bubbles in the center. That's exactly what we want. And uh, certainly as we drag the whisk through it, it becomes much thicker. And I've also prepared uh, a bowl with an ice bath. So as we finish this up, we want to cool it as quickly as possible to help it set into a beautiful custard cream. So this looks pretty much ready to go. It's nice and smooth and again we had those bubbles. So I'm going to take it off the heat and I'm going to pour it into our bowl that I have sitting in a larger bowl with ice. At this point we're going to add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract and get that stirred in. And we're going to let this cool in the ice bath for about five to ten minutes. And we don't want to stir it too quickly at this point because we don't want the custard to break down. So we're just going to stir it gently, but we see all that steam coming off, so we do want it to cool again. So we want to let that steam out, but we don't want to go too hard. After about five to ten minutes in our ice bath, we're just going to press a little piece of plastic against the very surface of the custard. And if you've ever made any type of a pudding or, or creamy dessert before, you know sometimes it gets like a skin on the top of it as it cools. This kind of helps prevent it by doing it automatically for it. And at this point we're going to set our custard into the refrigerator for at least one hour. Ideally you can do this overnight so you want to make this in advance. To make the puff portion of our cream puffs, I have a deep saucepan here and I'm going to put in one cup of water, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a stick of butter. And we're going to melt that, uh, the butter and then bring everything to a boil. Our liquid is boiling, so at this point we are going to dump in one cup of flour. We're just going to stir quickly until a ball of dough forms. At this point we're going to add four eggs into our dough one at a time and we're going to beat each one in.
You can do that manually with a wooden spoon, but you can see the dough gets very sticky and heavy, so it would beat a lot on your arm. But again, you don't have to use the beater. My oven is heated up to 400 degrees, and you really want to preheat the oven for these because the key is that the oven's really hot. And then I have a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper that we did grease, and we are just going to drop these by the teaspoonful onto our parchment paper. And you do want to make sure they're rounded off as best you can and give them plenty of space to puff up and grow as they cook. These are gonna go in a 400 degree oven for 15 minutes, then we're gonna reduce the heat to 350 and continue baking them until they turn a beautiful golden brown color. To assemble our puffs now that they are cooked and cooled, you just kinda of wanna find the, the seam where they've started to kind of puff apart, and that's where we're gonna just cut them in half and we'll just clamshell them a little and you'll see they're nice and airy on the inside, which means they have plenty of room for a generous spoonful of our custard cream. So we'll get that in there. A little more. There we go. And just close them back up. And just keep going like that until you've gotten them all cut and filled. Top your puffs with a little sprinkle of powdered sugar. These are perfect for this spring holiday season, for spring brunches, whatever uh, you wanna be celebrating as we start to get into this warmer weather. That is it for this week in the Cucina. I hope you enjoy my grandmother's recipe. And to hit that subscribe button for all of my recipes, and you can find them as well at caradefalco.com, and you can find me at caradefalco, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's it for this week. I'll see you guys next time. Bon appetito.